Any news got a new video for us 10 great isekai returning in 2024 hopefully let's see what he has to say 2024 might just be the best year for isekai yet because it's very possible every big hitter ever will be making an appearance yo yo tanya's also coming back hold up Everyone. tanya re-zero konosuba that's right konosuba season three trailer is out whether it be mushoku tensei in april or the Ohio core two in the summer from the isekai quartet to sao here's 10 great isekai returning this year Starting things off with the spring. First, we have the continuation to Mashoku Tensei. Ah, oh, shit. And I hear that this... <laughs> nice, nice stuff. <laughs> Jeez, I think this is Sarah right now, right? The isekai that brought us... Oh, no, Sarah, please, no. But I think um, season two, part two, is where the good shit's at. A lot of people had a lot of complaints about how Core 1 felt like a rom-com slice of life. And it kind of was. You know, the Academy arc, it wasn't bad. It was... Fixing Rudy's dick, you know, problem, but I hear that the the turning point is in this part, so oh, it's gonna be good, man. An entire twelve episodes focusing on erectile dysfunction. Well, it had actually brought us the emotional reunion between Rudy and Sylphie, but sure. that very much was a major focus of it. What was the most important thing to note, though, was the proposal that brought Rudy into the Ariel faction. Personally, I like to think that means Rudy will become more involved with the Surin politics, but was Zenith still lost and the school arc still going strong? Yeah, it's like, there's like three different plot line going. There's like the school arc, there's a teleportation, you know, trying to find the research arc, there's the rescue the mother arc, there's to retake the, the kingdom arc, there's, there's so many different plot points. There's honestly no telling on when we'll get to something like that. If part two covers the same number of volumes that part one did, then half the season will probably be spent still at the university, while the other half will finally bring us the long-awaited action we've been waiting for. So, uh, six episodes of Slice of Life rom-com a little bit more, and then out of nowhere, turning point three? I won't spoil what it is that Ark is gonna cover, but I- What is that? What, what, what is that? Come on, come on. What, we've been waiting what the fuck? I won't spoil- I can't, it's too blurred. This is way too hard to tell. It's even worse than fucking Jav censorship, dude. What it is that Ark is gonna cover, but I promise all the slice of life to get up to it would have been worth it. I mean, yes, the last season was a stark tonal shift from what we got back in season one, but it's that constant ebb and flow that makes Mushoku Tensei so immersive in the first place. Sure. So the story may seem slow and uneventful now, but I assure you it will pick back up whether at a turning point or something else. <laughs> Definitely. Whether at a turning point or something else. Surely he actually, that's not a pun, right? He's just straight up telling, telling us, you know, turning point, right? More so towards the end of season two, part two. Okay. Also joining Mashoku Tensei. Kazuma! Was the long-awaited third season of Konosuba. Ah, oh, shit. 2017 was the last time we saw the gang together on TV. Then 2019 was the movie wrapping things up with the Crimson Magic. Yo, the movie was actually so good. Like, holy. The amount of detail, animation, the soundtrack, like... The, the Crimson Wizards, all their introductions. Oh my god, I was, and then the main villain was pretty much like a futa. <laughs> Dude, that movie was fucking hilarious. Plan arc. There was the spinoff focusing on Megan's right. her daily life as a student, but with that being a prequel taking place before season. Many people were not very. I don't know. A lot of people don't really care for a spinoff series like this. I thought a lot of people would be interested in the Megumin spinoff. But compared to the regular Konosuba viewership, it was like pretty fucking low. Guess it makes sense because most people are watching it for the overall dynamic of the gang. But this was pretty much just Union Megumin, you know, fan service, which so I enjoyed. One, what's important to remember for this is where the movie left off. So with that bringing us right to the... The movie left off with Megumin saying, all right, I'm going to give up on explosion magic. And Cosmo's like, nah, spend, let's spend all your points on explosion magic. Then we got to like a happy ending. There's nothing romantic going on between those two. I don't think so. No, it's like a friend. It's like a brother and sister relationship. But based on some of the scenes in the movie and with her mom trying to push them together, it's a little... <laughs> I don't know, guys. What awaits us next is the Kazuma's little sister arc. Not his actual... The... The Ojo-sama. Little sister, Lolly. So, so Lolly, okay, little, little sister. sister. Or anyone related to him, but a younger princess who he starts treating as if she was his younger sister. Okay. I'm sure you can imagine just how much Kazuma would enjoy. Wait, that's gonna be insane. If we get the favor of this Lolly, who's like the princess and has like political clout, hold up. Are we just gonna get another kingdom under our belt? Living like royalty, so it's his new life as this sort of brother figure that we'll get to explore this. This is too bad. An interesting thing to note about the actual production is that unlike how Studio Dean did season one and season two, 
It'll actually be Studio Drive doing. Uh oh. Three. Uh oh. They were the ones who animated the spinoff from last year, so if. You oh, never mind. It's perfectly fine. The spinoff is perfectly fine. You enjoyed the quality of that and the overall. Oh, that was great. Action. Yeah. It'll be pretty much the same since much of the same staff are returning. I'm done. This also includes the original director who took part in season one and two originally. Now, before I get into the next. Rimuru. Sakai returning in April. I know you've all heard in Raid Shadow Legend. Y'all know what to do. Use your discount code any news for your first time pull back to the regular content. Next is season three of Tensida. Wait, was that actually Raid Shadow Legends? Oh my god, wait. I always just joke about how it's a Raid Shadow Legends ad, but it's actually Raid Shadow for the first time. Because every time we watch someone's video and they do a sponsor segment. I just, you know, say Raid Shadow Legends as a fucking joke, but bro, I actually got a Raid Shadow Legends at. Alright, go back. Next is season three of Tensida and its hype showdown between Rimuru Ooh. and Hinata. Unlike Church Girl counterparts airing alongside it though, Tensida season three will be back to back from April to June and July to September. What two Oh my god, were we getting like 48 episodes? So, sorry, sorry, it'd be, it'd be 24 episodes, never mind. Rather than the 12 episode split core treatment that we usually get, one fat 24 episode season. Sheesh! <laughs> this means the story will move on to cover what's known as the. Yo, the art is so different. Shuna's face looks so much smaller. Everyone's face just looks kind of. I guess that's a different, you know, the art style, huh? Their, their faces are like tiny as fuck and their, their, their hair, it looks very poofy is what I'm noticing. Festival too, so it's not just going to be Tempest versus the Crusaders for everything. Oh. That's simply the beginning for probably six to eight episodes. The rest will be a little less serious and might even have its own tournament arc in between. Tournament arc? What? As for what you need to know to watch season three, I don't think either the movie or the Coleus' Dream OVA are necessary. Right, we'll probably check out the- is the movie out for streaming services? Or is it still locked behind movie theater? I don't think it's locked behind movie theater still, right? I think both the OV and the movie are out, so we should be able to watch it probably after season two catch up. Yes, they are both okay. original stories written by the author himself, but right. with both being what's essentially- Wait! Filler, I think- What- what the fuck is this? It's filler? But look at this, did you see the art here? Essentially filler. Wait, 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 wait. stories written by the author himself, but- <laughs> Why the fuck is the first cover picture of Reincarnate as a Slime? Why? Gopta made it in? So you have Rimuru, you have, you know, Tempest Wolf, Igranga, you have Shizu, but then the next character in is important as fucking Gata. The author was memeing starting from the light novel illustrations, huh? God damn. But with both being what's essentially filler, I think as long as you're caught up with and remember the events of season two, you should be fine to watch season three. All Next right. we'll get into the summer season. Overlord and movie. Assume that this is when the Overlord movie will release. We know for sure it's coming out in 2024, but if mm -hmm. I had to guess something a bit more specific... But when it means comes out in 2024, does that mean it's like a release date for the movie theaters, be only in Japan? Because you know with anime movies, they get released, but it's not really released, you know? Until you get the official translation, Crunchyroll releases it later in live streaming platforms. Summer seems reasonable since it's about six months from the initial trailer drop. Other anime movies have a tendency to drop more towards the end of the year, but I think with enough hopium, we can manifest it oh my God. earlier than that. <laughs> Jesus. Now, the timeline for this movie isn't directly after season four, but is instead an arc that took place. Technically, yeah, maybe we should skip this Overlord section because Overlord is a series that we have not watched in this channel yet. It's something that I'm definitely going to cover from the beginning. I know that season five is not out yet, right? So, even with the movie coming out, I think that what's best in my interest is to keep waiting and keep waiting until there's an official release date, just like ReZero, and we will cover it from episode one leading into the start date of whatever newest season there is. So, we skip this part. Next. Also coming out in the summer is the second season. Yo, Tower of God is another series that um, I'm pretty interested in, but nobody has really mentioned it that much yet. Would you guys be interested in this? Because season two is coming out. Also coming out in the summer is the second season for Tower of God. Summer. I know it Damn. probably isn't actually an isekai, but I'm including it anyway just so I can round this list out to 10 anime. I mean, with like uh, the recent, you know, the recent like meta of like webtoon animes and... 
this isn't even recent, right? Like, Tower of God has been out for, like, a couple of years, but Season two's coming out, you know, and it's current, currently every, every fucking Webtoon anime is fucking just popping off, so, like, shouldn't we watch this, guys? We should watch this. So, last season brought us into one of the most unique worlds I've ever experienced, and it's this next one that will make it seem a whole lot bigger. Reason yeah. being that, unlike how the first season kept us isolated to one floor only, season two will traverse us through multiple. It's a continued climb up this seemingly infinite tower. No, I, I, I wonder if I should... I'm sure it's out of context. I mean, it's the same thing as spoiling for... I, I kind of want to watch it, though. It's increasingly harder than the previous ones. It's been six years since Bam's fall during the last test, and he's now climbing the tower under the identity of... I mean, it's called person. Tower of God. So you climb he's tower. He's way through numerous floors already that will pick things up as he joins a new team. The biggest criticism I've heard of this show is the fact that season one was too much of a slow burn. Like, a lot of Webtoon readers, I believe, were hyping the shit out of the show, like solo leveling and everything. But the pacing of season one, even the source material, like, it was not, like, fast enough to get to the really good shit, so a lot of people kind of got burnt out and kind of bored by it. Wasn't it, like, 24 episodes or something? I heard the pacing was one of the biggest issues for season one, and they left at, like, a... Not really of a payoff, and people are kind of upset about it. That's that's the only criticism and the things that I hear about Tower of God, other than the fact that it's got a crazy soundtrack and it has potential to be really good. A notable group that will serve as this season's new cast. That's not to say his former teammates won't show up later, but for the time being, it's going to be mostly new people. One of which is speculated to be the Prince of Zahard. Thus Whatever the name that of this means, sure. Being Return of the Prince. Once again, I mean, fuck, it sounds so cool. Return of the Prince? Like, we gotta watch this. And this really isn't an isekai, but with every floor being pretty much a world in and of itself, it honestly might as well be. Now, these next isekai don't have any confirmed release dates, but oh? considering their announcements what are were these? all well over a year ago, I wouldn't be surprised if any or all of them Re -Zero. Out this year. It is unfortunately just speculation on my part, but I am basing it off the standard 12 to 18 month period between first trailer and release date. So, first we have Yojo Senki Season 2, and while the announcement- How did this show lose so bad, dude? Like, yo, I can't believe, like, uh, well, I, 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 it's kind of disrespectful to Spider, but, like, Yojo Senki just fucking last place with Bakemonogatari again, guys. Like, I guess we're gonna be watching the Spider anime, but, like, this is getting Season 2. We need to get on this, man. And for it was back in 2021. The author has confirmed that production of it is still ongoing. The director was most yeah. recently occupied with Fully Cooley, but now that that's done, I assume he'll be working on Yojo Senki again. So, as of August 30th, 2023, Yojo Senki is still returning. Okay. And as for what to expect, well, lots of military conflict is pretty standard, but I assume it's Volume 5's ongoing battle in the Eastern. Kinda scared to listen to this because of spoilers, but it's all out of context of who really cares. Right. That and the recently discovered rise. Uh, next enemy? Next, we have ReZero Season 3, and well- uh, Another anime that I want to listen to, but I can't really- Fuck! This video- Ah, fuck, dude. I can't! I want to- I want to watch the ReZero shit, but I can't! The spoilers! Guess it may be a stretch to say 2024 for it. The thing that I have heard about this is the fact that, that there's another show called, like, um... Yoko Sengoku or some shit. I, I don't know. There, there's a different, like, furry anime. It's, it's not a furry anime. There's a different anime airing right now. For like 30 something episodes, right? So ReZero, and it's shared by the same studio, so it's likely ReZero earliest by fall this year, which probably is not gonna happen. That implies that we're gonna go in immediately without any break. So more likely winter 2025, or perhaps even spring 2025. It is technically possible since White Fox's Sengoku Yoko. Yeah, this August. one. For this those one. Of you that don't know. Like, there's no way that we end in August and we lead in right into September for ReZero. Like, I just don't see that happening because the same studio is working on both projects. See, White Fox, the studio behind seasons one and two, have surprisingly... ReZero doesn't have spoilers here? All right, all right, cool. ...committed to working on a different anime all year. From now until August, they'll be releasing a new episode of Sengoku Yoko Weekly. <laughs> I'm no are, 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 is this doing well? Sengoku Yoko. Like, like if, if I just type up a reaction, Sengoku Yoko reaction, are people watching this shit? Or most people, um, like, skipping it? Like, in, in the other reaction channels that you guys watch, like, is it... <laughs> here's my fucking trailer. This is so bad. Is it doing well? I don't really think a lot of people are watching this. I don't know. I, I haven't really heard that much hype of 
about it. it. Based on the viewership numbers, it doesn't seem very good. It doesn't seem like any other people are really covering it. I don't know. The industry or studio white box in particular, but I assume that if any studio is working on a multi-core back, it looks back vibrant end, and it'd fun, be very but difficult to release another one right alongside it. That's not to say they aren't working on it, but more times than not, it probably isn't what they're focusing on right now. So if I was to guess when ReZero Season 3 would... Earliest January 2025. But it could be even spring 2025. Release? Fall 2024 or winter... It, fall 2024, I, I just don't see it happening. I just don't. It's like that's no break, no way. 2025 would make the most sense to me. Yeah, well, winter sounds more right. Information at Anime Japan on March 24th, so that if oh, that's right. There's a new um, announcement, right? There's like a new conference, like a meeting on March 24th. So for we could expect some new news about that. Thing is, where we'll get an official release date. Then normally I would talk about what to expect from it, but for a series like ReZero, that's something definitely best left untouched. Nice, we got through. The nice, we got, attack. we got to see the whole ReZero section without getting spoiled. Now I know people are gonna be like, "When's the ReZero? Please, ReZero." Yes, we will watch ReZero, but think of it from my perspective as a content creator that is shamelessly trying to chase the views and maximize viewership. It is not in my best interest to start a show that everybody wants to watch right now when our channel is still growing and there's no pressure for me to catch up to ReZero because this shit is not going to be happening for like another year or so. So why would I rush and cover this content when I could cover this a year later when my channel has doubled, tripled in size? Think about it, guys. This is why I belong in Classroom 1F. That's right. I'm the leader of Classroom 1F. The reverse isekai now. Next is A1 Pictures Fate Strange Fake. The pilot had another come Fate out series? back in July as the one hour. Do you have to see Fate Zero to understand this? I don't even know like what, cause like Fate is all over the place. Some series, some anime seasons are like very like uh, episodic in the sense that you don't really need to understand like Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, Fate Zero, none of that shit matters, right? Cause they're like their own different universes. So as long as you have the general idea of like what this like Holy Grail War is, you can just watch this, right? For Whispers of the Dawn special, but later this year should be the release of its full version. A fake holy- No, no shot, I have to watch like 17 different fake series to understand this one specific anime, right? No shot. No. The Grail War taking place in America rather than Japan for once. The whole thing is another independent timeline, just like Apocrypha or Fate Grand Order, but the universe is- Yeah, independent timeline, so it's like its own little contained story. Very much the same as all the others. So, while you will see some familiar faces like Gilgamesh and Enkidu, there's gonna be many new faces since the servants this time around- Hey, it's Nagumo! ...fit that definition of hero. Next, we have a smaller personal favorite of mine, bringing us back mm. to Len and the SAO alternative universe. Yo, when are we gonna watch SAO? I know people say, like, season one, part two, or whatever, is really bad, but I hear that, you know, later on, you know, Gun Gale and stuff is really hype. And like alicialization or something that's really pretty and they got a new SAO project coming up. Where is my SAO enjoyers, man? It's been five years since the first season aired back in 2018 and it was only six months ago that season two was announced. Hopefully that means we'll be seeing it by the end of the year, but there is always the possibility we might not. Sword Art Online soundtrack is so good. With Devil as a part-timer though, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out as early as the summer. Oh, As this is a spin-off series? This okay. season will bring us yet another tournament-style battle royale, except this time- Ah, uh, more tournament-style battle royale? Give me that shit! Give me it! These are gonna be a little bit different. It's the same run-and-gun action Gun Gale Online is known for, just with some new game rules and a lot more balance issues. It's cute girls with then guns, last, okay. we have the world's finest assassin, Isekai, and- Oh! Wait! We just finished this on Patreon exclusive. It's not really out on YouTube because you guys haven't voted for it, but we have watched this. Now, are we getting season two out of this? It what? It may not be a sequel to a slightly different popular anime of the same creator. <laughs> There's some very sussy scenes in the Maha arc that was... Haha, <sighs> but it is the author to redo a healer, so what did you expect? This one was still a lot of fun and just as entertaining. It yeah, was, and like season one ended at like the most important part of finally meeting the fucking hero that we're trying to assassinate. And it's like, all right, done. No more for you guys. What the fuck? Surprisingly well-paced power fantasy with more than just a half-baked story to it. I mean, with the entire first season covering only one Dude, it was good. Level, that's when you know those behind it are taking their time with it. 
If the next season follows suit and covers volume 2, then what we're in for is Lou's academy arc. He'll go to school. Academy arc, school, tournament arc. Oh, all the other people might look down on us. Then we flex on them. Yes, please. This is peak power fantasy. And encounter a Come on. Person you may not have expected the to hero. Be. I won't go any deeper than that. The hero. Flexing in more of an academy setting, then season two will have some pretty good moments for you. Dude, I love academy settings. This is why whenever there's like a little school arc, a little test arc, entrance exam, you know, tournament style, like, oh, it's, it's like my favorite moments in anime. If there is... A tournament arc, an academy arc, something like that format. Like, I will watch it. I don't give a fuck if it's a girl idol show. I don't care. If it's a tournament arc, I will watch it. But yeah, that's 10 great isekai returning in 2024. A quality group of what I think And is like, some of the think about this. Think about what you know what the craziest thing is? Anna News has just covered the 10 most anticipated isekai. These are household names, right? These are Mushoku Tensei. This is Konosuba. Re-Zero, reincarnated as a slime, fucking Raid Shadow Legends, but you get the point, Overlord, these are gigantic titles, but like, this isn't even including all the random shitty isekais that aren't, like people don't even know about yet that will come out and it'll just pop off, and now, I'm not saying, you know, wrong way to use healing magic or isekai instant death right now are shitty, but it's just like, came out of nowhere, right? Did it, was anyone talking about this shit? Not really. So on top of everything coming out this year, like no doubt we're going to have more isekai weekly seasonals that's just going to come out and just hit us. So I'm pretty hyped for that. <laughs> Here's more of Raid Shadow Legends. But guys, please go give any news a like and subscribe to his channel if you enjoyed this video. He always gives us a little good breakdown of what's happening in the isekai sphere of our little anime uh, community.